Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tender Gaming. Uh, so on this episode, uh, I'm going to be doing my little review of X-Men Apocalypse. I saw it last night, so I thought I'd pop in X-Men Legends 2, which makes you know a lot of sense when you think about it, because it's the Apocalypse game, cool. So I may do this as like a two-parter. Um, the, the first little part will be... Spoiler free, so I'm not gonna say anything if you haven't seen it yet. I don't want to spoil anything for you I hate when fucking reviews do that, so we're not gonna do that. I love how good this game looks Like th these cinematics just like a <laughs> little side tangent these these cinematics look awesome That's a that's an interesting saber tooth design Actually, I like the mystique design the saber tooth design eh, kind of whatever, but uh, I know Saul wants to play this as a uh, you know a co co-ops uh, episode, so I'm not going to be really playing too much of this in terms of, like, depth or anything. This is just kind of background for the review. So, without any further ado, my X-Men Apocalypse review. Ha 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 ha, says ah. First of all, I gotta say, I loved this movie. This movie, like, totally defied my expectations. I went into this not knowing what to expect. A lot of the reviews beforehand... The, God, look how weird that Cyclops design is. I, I hate these X-Men costumes. Like, the Ultimate costumes, I hate them. Um, but yeah, so I went into this movie not knowing really what to expect. Because I saw a bunch of mixed reviews. It was great, it sucks, whatever. I personally really enjoyed this. I thought it was very fun. Like, there's great humor in it. Uh, it. It has a soundtrack. Holy shit. Civil War. Listen up. This X-Men actually had some music in it. Good God. What a concept. Um, again, my overall impression with this, I, I was skeptical going into it. It defeated my expectations. I actually liked it better than Days of Future Past. And I love Days of Future Past. I think it's a great movie. This one, just to me, had more action, had a little bit more character uh, development, and like more interesting characters introduced. Uh, the overall storyline, again, not giving too much away. Again, Apocalypse is here to destroy the world, pretty much, or cleanse the world, as you probably have all guessed. I'm going to be my favorite character in this game. I'm going to be Cyclops, because I'm a, a super Cyclops guy. I am. I believe in Cyclops. And, again, in this movie, and I'll get into it in the, kind of the spoilers review, I fucking love how they did Cyclops in this movie. They nailed it. Like, they nailed all the characters. All the X-Men were really well done in this. Uh, Cyclops, I think they nailed. Gene, uh, or Phoenix, I guess. They guessed... Uh, you know, Gene, they nailed in this. Nightcrawler was really fun and kind of silly in this. Angel was really cool. Beast, again, we've seen Beast in a couple um, movies so far, so we already got, like, a taste for him. Uh, so what do we got here? So if, you have, if you've never played this game, again, we're, we're going to play through this on more of, like, an actual episode-style uh, show. This is, again, this is just to uh, talk about the, uh, you know, the movie that I just saw. So, all the X-Men, I think they did a really good job. I think they nailed it. Uh, all the the, you know, the four horsemen being Psylocke, Archangel, Storm, and Magneto. Again, really cool how they introduced all of those characters. And I'll get into that in the spoiler episode as well. Uh, and again, a lot of people were skeptical of how they were going to do Apocalypse. Because I've said it before, Apocalypse is a very difficult character to do in a cinematic like scope you know, he's really powerful arguably the most powerful character uh in, in the x-men universe or at least one of them maybe like phoenix uh is a little bit more powerful but again i love the way that they portrayed him in this i think they did a really good job giving him a, an interesting background and you know, a reason why he's doing everything that he's doing and, of course, again, Quicksilver steals the movie. Like, the scene, the big scene for him, 
again, he got a huge crowd pop. Like, it was nuts. People were, like, cheering when he came on the screen. So people love this character. And, again, I didn't really like him in Age of Ultron. You know, I thought they didn't do him quite well. And, again, Days of Future Past, he steals the scene. You know, he steals when he's running around and he's got the music playing and he's doing all the stuff with the security guards. Awesome. You know, he wasn't like, oh, you didn't see that coming? Like, boo! Storm, and again, this is all stuff that you've seen in the trailer. Storm, big white mohawk, looks fucking rad. Um, I'll, I'll get into that in more of the, the spoiler stuff. Uh, again, like, Beast, I'm not a huge fan of, like, how Beast looks in these movies. I don't know what it is. He just kind of looks like... I don't know, like a big angry Furby or something. Like, he doesn't look beast here, enough. Oh, I guess that... Form up on me. Uh, okay, well. get, word, word to, the, word to the, the wise. Don't blow up barrels when you're standing in front of them. Guy, that's the game tip. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have read the game tips now that I think about it. Um, who else? So, again, uh, like James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender. God damn it, I'm getting my... Fucking ass kicked as Cyclops. This is nuts. No, he's a cool character though. Shut up. Again, James McAvoy as Xavier. Again, he absolutely nails it. Like, he is so charismatic as this character, and he really does light up the uh, you know the screen when he's on it. And again, he's a, he's a character that we all kind of care about in this movie. I get, well, you're fine. So you get a good origin for uh, like Cyclops and Nightcrawler, Angel. Like you get a really good origin story, and I'm I'm hoping that going forward with this franchise, uh, they really continue on the path that they set because it really is working. Uh, and again, uh, so going back to Apocalypse, it has a lot of really good cameos in it. Like everybody, okay, you all know Wolverine's in it because you see that in the trailer. And again, really cool how they did him. And I'll get into that in the spoilers as well. Um, I was really happy with how uh, th they used him in this movie. Uh, again, the interesting thing, like my girlfriend w didn't really like uh, Raven in Days of Future Past. But she loved her... She, she, like, loved her in this movie. And I, I think the reason why is she's no longer Mystique. Like, that's what I was confused about. Because in Days of Future Past, they they prevent her be from becoming Mystique. So she's Raven now. And you see her developing as this character in, uh, you know, Apocalypse in this movie. And it, it just works. Like, it's awesome. This location. And I absolutely love that Patrick Stewart is Professor X in this. Like, he was... Yeah, he was in, like, all of these games. I'm pretty sure he was in, uh... If you guys ever played... Uh, X-Men, was it Next Dimension? Like, the, the fighting game? I, I'm almost positive he voiced Xavier in that as well. Like, so he was super committed to this role. Um, and, and again, a big question that got brought up to me was, did I like this or Civil War better? And although this is a little bit more fresh, I loved Apocalypse way more than Civil War. Like, w hands down. It had a soundtrack, it had consequence, it had a way better villain. Like, they fucked up Zemo in Civil War, as I've said. But with Apocalypse, like, they do him... I, I don't think it was 100% accurate to the comic, but I think... I don't think they could have. You know? Again, he's a very tough character to do. So, again, overall, really enjoyed this movie. If you haven't seen it, I, I absolutely invite you to go check it out. Because it's totally worth it. Um, I Again, so like Rotten Tomatoes gave it like a 38, but the fan side of it gave it almost an 80. So, don't listen to critics, don't listen to stuff like that. Go see a movie, make up your own thought process behind it. Like, just see it and decide for yourself. To you. I trust we're finding 
Um, so, you know what? So, next time, I'm, I'm going to do this in two parts. So, the next episode will be kind of the spoilers. So, for just... Um, like, again, no spoilers. Don't want to give anything away. I highly recommend this movie. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. Go out and check it out because it is fun. There's humor in it. There's good music in it. There's great action in it. Um, again, the characters are really fun and likable. Uh, the villain is pretty, like, devious and, and very intimidating. So if you like X-Men, if you like comics, if you like superhero movies, you're going to like this movie, I think. Uh, if you have seen it, let me know what you guys thought about it. If you loved it, if you hated it, why, you know, I, I like having that kind of feedback and, and the conversation like that with people. So join me on the next episode of Tender Gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, and we are going to talk spoilers next time. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then.